Okay, we've got this is a demonstration of the milk paint uh, cabinet doors and drawers. And we're on our third coat of oiling. And um, we're just going to oil the sides here. Um, two coats. So it's just uh, hemp oil from Ontario, the seeds and the oil, the oil is pressed. Seeds are grown in Ontario and the oil is pressed in Ontario. It's beautiful finish. Uh, it's a sealer that goes on um, the milk paint after you're done and it helps uh, in areas like in a kitchen where you want to wipe the cabinets with the cleaning and protecting of the, the milk paint. This, this, uh, the cabinet doors were made out of pine and spruce. Just one by fours and sixes pine and spruce from uh, Home Hardware in Ashcroft. Soon our wood lot will be sp spitting this stuff out and we'll be able to make our own. But it's, I was just reading how it makes it, it gives the linseed or the hemp oil gives it a nice dark finish, kind of like oak. The turn of the century when the middle and lower class would have a pine or spruce door, they would finish it with linseed oil or hemp oil to give it that oak finish. The Dukabors grew lots of hemp, especially in Saskatchewan and in the Grand Forks Valley in the, in the Kootenays. They grew lots of hemp and made lots of hemp products such as hemp oil and all the B grade hemp oil would go to finishing. The A grade hemp oil would go to human consumption and uh, to their animals. Okay, so now the hemp oil gets put on liberally and it's gonna sit for half an hour and soak into the wood. Pen it penetrates and then uh, then it'll get wiped after half an hour and then you can reapply it. And then after 24 hours, it's not tacky anymore and it's a solid finish. So this is a, a milk paint from called uh, Heritage House. Um, I've made milk paint before. You usually you just get skim milk, and just like you're making cheese, you separate the curds from the whey, and then you uh, after you separate the curds from the whey, you okay, Asher? Yeah. <laughs> That's an epic fail, or uh, whatever they call a blooper. <laughs> but uh, uh, after you separate the curds from the whey. Um, you put calcium uh, in the curds and the, cur the calcium dissolves the curds into basically a white paint at that point. And then you can add pigments. In this case it's called Loyalist. It's a type of a blue with a bit of green. And uh, these are traditional earth pigments. And uh, you paint it onto your wood. And uh, everybody who's ever restored antique furniture knows that uh, milk paint's really impossible to get off once it's on because the casein dries and it's a, it's a, it becomes a part of the wood basically. It's a, it's a great uh, preservative or a protector of the wood. And then the hemp, hemp oil goes on top. This is three coats of the milk paint. And uh, then the hemp oil goes on top. This is our second coat, or this is our third coat of hemp oil now. And just like the back, you'll, we'll, you put it on liberally you let the oil penetrate and then uh, in a half an hour you can wipe it and it becomes a good finish. Mm -hmm. 